uh, so uh, so uh, time is to provide transportation out here. Uh, we're on 7 to 10 every night on LRN.FM, and you can find that on the internet. And uh, we'll tell you about all the ways your government's screwing. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Right on. Hey, guys, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about not taking a plea deal. Woo! I think it's really important information. I'm going to hand these flyers out. And you can the <laughs> Even though we're decriminalized here in New Hampshire, they can still give you a ticket. So what do you do if you get a ticket? You don't pay them. Don't encourage them to give out more tickets. You refuse to pay the fine. Take the case to trial. You still get a trial if you get a ticket. If you want a fucking trial, you should take it. It makes it so they have to spend time and money getting your conviction. Afterwards, still don't pay them. The judge says you have to pay a hundred dollar fine. Go and do community service. Don't pay them. Don't pay the fines. Just encourage them. So I'll hand these out. Until they talk some money. That's what I do. That's right. I brought some words to share with everybody, not just about the world of cannabis, but also the world we live in and the things going on in it. In the past few years, we've seen the evils of history expounding. It's considered presence in our society and around the earth. The resurgence of ignorant racial prejudice, the embrace of the pseudo Nazi state of society, or the escalation of social years and travel policies. With the laudable de escalation we've seen in the government's war on cannabis, we must be over. We must acknowledge a larger threat presented to our very existence and way of life by these atavistic ghosts. The same elements of human division that were not killed off by our grandfathers in World War II have come back. Sometimes, it, uh, and they come back with lofty promises to more misguided people among us. Maybe they promise a great reward, a free college, a health care, or a false, uh, false promises of decreased punishment, such as lower taxes. The elements of division have many facades and know how to appeal to the unprincipled and misguided among us. Be their shades uh, be their teams blue or red, or be their names Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders. Both of these awful old men condemn uh, foreigners to isolation in their present lands. Yet we see so little criticism of the people expounding those policies nicely that we do uh, the person like the president who mocks and degrades the people who are a victim of these policies. It's just as wrong no matter who is supporting those policies. When we stand up for individual rights, we also stand up for the uh -huh. right of journalism, the right to share true factual information, uh, which should almost never be a crime. While it was just as wrong for the 44th president to kill the children of Abdul Rahman al Awaki, who was a U.S. citizen, as it was the 45th president who killed his eight-year-old daughter, this targeted escalation of this administration should give us all cause for concern. Years ago, it was a shock when someone who we thought was going to be caged for the rest of their life for sharing information with us was given clemency by outgoing President Obama. It came as a welcome surprise <laughs> and seemed to give the end of the legal use of Chelsea Manning for her heroic sharing of information relating to the U.S. war crimes and diplomatic, diplomatic misconduct abroad. Yet today, in what seems to be a flagrant violation of the protections against double jeopardy enshrined in the Bill of Rights, we see Manning re-caged for the non-crime of remaining silent. The U.S. government is trying to charge a foreign journalist with crimes against the U.S. for sharing information provided to them by a third party who has already been tried and caged for that offense. This expansion of non-crimes onto non-criminals and non-citizens who have no allegiance or obligations to protect the secrets of this government should be seen as a threat uh, by anyone, but from any government anywhere. It's a disturbing development Not at all. precedent for the U.S. to set. And if we speak out, uh, if we don't speak out against these, uh, what's going on right now, we're going to see more people disappeared in charge of these international info crimes. Sharing publicly pertinent information is not a crime, and sharing of information on mass war crimes makes one a hero, not an enemy to anyone except those who profit off of the warfare. The punishment they have inflicted and continue to inflict on Manning and Julian Assange may have the desired chilling effect on the sharing of speech that the powers that we intend for them to have. Which is why we should consider, consider reversing the trend. Those who seek to cage the sharers of truth and other innocent people should be made as uncomfortable in their daily lives as they make the innocent people they cage. Perhaps if we make an effort not to excuse them when they are within our sphere, we can create a chilling effect on their sort of inhumane, abusive behavior. 
Well, we welcome the conference of the increased uh, legal cannabis in the greater cannabis community. Let us not forget those who fight for their own freedoms on other issues which are not experiencing the same cultural embrace of their liberties. The oppression of an innocent person in the United States is just as relevant as the oppression of an innocent person in Latin America or our neighbors in the Middle East or anywhere around the world. Anywhere that an individual is threatened because they want to express ownership of their own bodies and minds is a threat to all of our liberties. In embracing the recognition of individual self-ownership in the most basic universal human right is the goal which leads us to the possibility of creating what humans have strived for throughout history, actual civilization in which, in which one need not plunder one another to live in the peace and freedom we were promised by the founders. Thank you. Everybody come together, let's get a group picture, please. Group picture. Yeah, everybody.